Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today we are talking about a new AI video tool called Magref. And honestly, we'll be generating results in just 5 simple steps using a new LoRa model. So let me show you quickly how it works. You just write a prompt and then upload a photo of the character and boom. The AI generates a smooth high quality video that accurately reflects the face from the reference image you uploaded. And the best part is it doesn't just work for one person. You can generate scenes with multiple characters interacting. It also handles objects and environments seamlessly. So now we are going to use this model in Comfy UI. So here is the workflow I have created. You can download it from aistudynow.com. The site requires one time email verification and once that's done, you will be able to download the files instantly anytime. Once downloaded, you will need to load it in into your Comfy UI. So before we dive into Comfy UI, let's talk about the model itself. You can download the model file from the provided link. There are three versions available, FP16, BF16 and FP8. Choose the one that best suits your system and save it into your diffusion models folder. Another important component is the LoRa file. I used it in this workflow. WAN X21 Lite XV. Using this LoRa allows you to generate high quality results in just 5 steps. And yes, you heard that right. Lightning fast, generation without compromising on co quality. And as for the VAE and text encoder, they remain the same as those used in our previous workflows. So when you open the workflow, you will see a section labeled when video LoRa. Here I have already selected the LoRa model. In the when video model loader, make sure to select the Magref model based on your system's VRAM. So first I have disabled the two image and background nodes. We'll talk about those later. Make sure that in the select image node, you have selected image one and disable the other groups. So as you can see, I have uploaded an image of a warrior and sent it to remove background node. To ensure better results, set the background color to white in the resize node. You can also set your desired output resolution here. Connect the resized image to the when video clip vision encode node. Then Connect image 1 to the same node and link the output of the clip vision encode to the when video image to video node which then connects to the sampler. And for the best results when using this LoRa, I recommend using 5 sampling steps. You can go up to 10 if needed. A CFG scale of 1 and a shift value of 8. Lastly, make sure to select the LCM scheduler for optimal performance. To get the best results, you need to understand the resize image options, especially key proportion. Sometimes you may not get the desired output, so you can switch the mode to pad or stretch. Try both options and see which one works for your image. Moving on. All you need to do is upload an image of the character. In this case, our character is warrior that I used in my previous work and try to bring him to life. In the prompt section, be sure to describe the character in detail, include background elements, movement and any specific actions you want the character to perform. The more descriptive you are, the better the results will be. As you can see in my prompt, I have added a knight in blue armor stands in the rain on a grassy field. I have added 
background details like castle behind him and then environmental details like sky is dark with lightning at the end the night stands strong breathing hard with rain falling all around him so here is the result the character in the video is an exact match to the reference image we uploaded 100% accurate not even a slight deviation like in some ai generated results however while the character remains perfectly consistent the overall video still has a slightly ai generated look but the best part there is zero change in facial or character details throughout the animation there is one more point to notice if you change key proportion from stretch to pad you will get diff all different results so you can try both according to your desire additionally you can switch the model from fp8 to fp16 as you will notice in the output additionally you can switch the model from fp8 to fp16 as you will notice in the output the motion becomes smoother more detailed and the warrior moves more naturally now let's try another example this time i uploaded only the face of a different character einstein the genius and the and kept the prompt the same i even added a twist in the prompt einstein holding a sword so let's see what happens in the results so here is our final result you can clearly see that there is almost zero loss of facial details it still looks like einstein he is now holding a sword and moving but the overall quality appears a bit like all school gaming footage not fully realistic but still impressive for such fast generation now it's time to try using two images first you need to enable the two image option in the workflow in this setup you can upload two images for example i have uploaded the face of one person as the first image and the a woman's face as the second image then in the prompt describe a scene where both characters are interacting like a man and a woman sitting on a sofa and chatting so after running the test the result is surprisingly good the video looks natural and both faces match the reference images you can see them looking at each other and chatting In terms of quality it's actually better compared to using just a single identity. So let's take it a step further. Now change the prompt from chatting to hugging and run it again. So the result still maintains the correct facial details from our reference image and the action looks smooth. If you want to add a background image there isn't a direct third image input but here is a workaround Use the image concatenate multi node and set the input count to 3 then add your three images two character faces and one background and generate the video using all three inputs together This method opens up a lot of creative possibilities while the results may not always be perfect it's definitely worth experimenting with So that's it for today's video if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this until then bye bye keep happy generating